The word equilibrium means specifically what? Um, Ninji? In the middle, or it's equal on both sides? Uh, in it, yeah, in physics, it doesn't specifically mean that. It doesn't mean, mean it's equal on both sides. That's not what it means in physics. The term equilibrium. Johnson? No. Nope. It's actually it's actually an equation. Uh, Andrew? Um, I don't know about the equation, okay. but it's um, like no external net force that can find it. Sure. What equation would that be then? Uh, net force. Like that. Equilibrium <laughs> simply means the net force is equal to zero. Now, I do want to be clear. It doesn't mean that there aren't any forces acting on it. It simply means when you add all the forces together, they add up to zero. So what does this mean as far as the object is concerned if the net force is equal to zero? Stephanie? It Bless you. All right, please listen carefully. An object that is not moving is an object in equilibrium, but an object in equilibrium is not necessarily an object that is not moving. I'll say it one more time just to make sure you understand. An object that is not moving is in equilibrium, but an object that is in equilibrium is not necessarily not moving. Evan. It's experiencing no acceleration. It's experiencing no acceleration. How do you get this? Because it's not being acted upon by that force necessarily. Let's go. Let's go to Newton's work. second law. And what's Newton's second law? Uh, sum of net forces equals mass on acceleration and the vectors acceleration. Oh, good. So notice this means that the acceleration is equal to zero. Therefore, if the acceleration is equal to zero, if you recall, that's equal to the change in velocity over change in time. That means that it's not moving or it's moving at a constant velocity. So the object is either not moving or it's moving at a constant velocity. It's what it means to be in equilibrium. 